back to Playtech TV, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kevin, and today we're going to look at some Z170 motherboards. Now, it's surprising how few people know the differences between the different motherboards from the different companies. So the goal of today's video is to give you a quick overview of the different price points and just give you a general idea of what to look for when shopping for your Z170 gaming motherboard. For this video, we are looking at six different motherboards broken up into three different brackets. So right here, we have our entry level motherboards, which are $350 or under. Then we have our mid-level motherboards, which are between $350 and $500. And then we move on to the serious stuff, the enthusiast level, the uh, high level uh, motherboards from Asus and Gigabyte. And these are just the really special, really high-end $500 and over motherboards. For this video, we're only using full-size motherboards. And now let's start out with the entry-level motherboard. So here we have the Gigabyte Z170-HD3. And to its left, we have the Asus Z170-K. Now both of these are entry-level motherboards. Uh, which means they have kind of standard things like uh, just normal display connectors, VGA, DVI, HDMI. Uh, single PCIe times 16 slots, so no SLI is going to be happening here. But uh, Crossfire is still supported. They'll have at least six SATA ports and you know USB 3.0 ports and things like that. So uh, that's all pretty standard stuff from here on out. Now what the Asus does quite nicely is that it comes with a USB Type-C port, which I like to see, and it also comes with USB 3.1 ports, so I really like that too. It also has uh, some protection from uh, surges and over voltage if you're going to be overclocking your CPU, so that's always good to have. And the RAM capacity goes up to 64 gigabytes on the Z170K, whereas on the uh, Gigabyte, it only goes up to 32 gigabytes. Now, speaking of the Gigabyte, it has uh, only USB 3.0, so it doesn't have a, any USB Type C or USB 3.1, however it makes up with this by having uh, plenty of USB 3.0 ports. It also has three SATA Express ports compared to the one that you get on the Asus motherboard and it features surround audio. It also has a dual BIOS which is going to be really good for overclockers, that's something the Asus doesn't have. And overall, both of these motherboards are going to get you in the door on Skylake. You're going to be able to chuck in your Skylake processor and overclock it, and it'll get you by. So let's move up from here and check out some of the mid-range motherboards. Moving up now to the mid-range motherboards, and the first one we're going to look at here is the Asus Z170 Pro Gaming. So this one features everything the entry-level motherboards featured and more. So it has USB uh, Type-C and A, and USB 3.1. It's coming with a display port as well, which is uh, quite good. Now this motherboard is SLI capable, so that's another good thing there. Has an Intel Gigabit Ethernet connector. Has a Digi Plus VRM and DRAM over current protection, so that's really good for anyone that's going to be doing any overclocking. And also features their Supreme FX with audio shielding. And this one also does have some lighting on it. Now moving over to our other mid-range motherboard, this one is the Gigabyte Z170X Gaming 5. So this one only features USB Type-C, so no USB Type-A. It also features a USB 3.1. Has this nice uh, metal shielding on the PCIe slot, so I really like that. I was wondering why they haven't done this years ago, but it's good to finally see it. It also features a display port and is SLI capable. It has improved audio through their Realtek ALC1150 and features Japanese capacitors on the audio, so that's good. You're going to get really good audio quality with this guy. It has their Killer Gaming LAN 
and it also features a dual BIOS, which I really like to see. It just makes it so much more handy if you ever run into any problems having a backup BIOS that you can always switch to. Lastly, we have the enthusiast and high-end motherboards. Now, the first one we're going to look at here is the Asus Z170 Deluxe, and it's an absolute beast. So this motherboard is capable of three-way SLI. It's featuring dual Intel NIC and AC Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity. Now this is really made for extreme overclocking and if you want you can take its DDR4 RAM all the way up to 3733 megahertz. Just crazy. Now it has their Crystal Sound 3 which is basically just cleaner power, better noise isolation and their audio amplifier and this motherboard is just insane. The components on it are top notch and this is what you really want to get if you're an enthusiast and you just want an absolute beast of a motherboard and coming with the six USB 3.0 ports as you can see there on the box. Now moving over to the right, if you thought it couldn't even get that crazy, we have the Gigabyte Z170X Gaming G1. Now this guy just brings it to a whole new level of insanity. So it has a four-way SLI compatibility, double shot LAN, Features a Wi-Fi AC just like the Z170 Deluxe. It's coming with RGB LED so you can really uh, light up your rig on the inside. It has water cooling support. It can take your RAM all the way up to 3866 megahertz, which is just nuts. And again, this is for extreme overclockers out there, people that want to take their Skylake CPUs to the absolute max. It's coming with a quad-core audio processor and features high-end gold audio caps and amp-up technology. So you're going to get really good audio, just the absolute best components on this guy. It's going to uh, be the best you're probably going to get in terms of being able to overclock your Skylake CPUs to the max. And overall, it's just an absolute beast of a motherboard, and I would highly recommend it to those extreme enthusiasts out there that just want one of the best Z170 motherboards you can get. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what to look for and we encourage you here at Playtech to look up the motherboard specs for yourself and make an informed decision of what you think will be right for you and what is going to meet your gaming needs as well as your budget of course. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Playtech TV if you haven't already and like the video and as always we'll see you guys next time.